everybody, Mike Dynaspray Jones. Okay, you're hiring us to get your basement done. Saskatoon, Regina, rural Saskatchewan, what next? Well, it can be framed, it doesn't have to be. This particular basement is in Regina and it was framed. The homeowners bought the house, but the joists already sprayed. The builder had them done, and this is all I have to say about it. That kind of workmanship is out there, folks. Just because you've got a foam rig and they've got a price doesn't mean they should be hired. Okay, so we're taking a look at the tight areas. These are the areas of consideration. Are they poly? Are they masked? We tape the stud faces. We tape the water heater up. The furnace. Electrical panel needs to be protected. I have a video on how to spot a bad job where they brought the spray foam right up against the wires. We're not going to do that in this case. Access with our rig. Can we get beside the house? On the driveway? Are we blocking another neighbor? Is there a good window into the basement? We don't want to come in through the front door. We don't want to come in and get our hose all over your, all over your carpet. Here we're going inside, we're quickly checking the settings. My guy's gonna turn things up or down just to cool things off or warm things up. That way the foam sprays smoother. So here we go, the guys are spraying things out. The studs have been taped so that they will not hold overspray. It gives a nice, crisp, clean finish. He's detailing out the edges. We call this picture framing for obvious reasons. It's like the edge of a picture. Nobody is hiring us to do the middle, the easy part. You're hiring us to do the hard parts, the crevices, the corners. The middle is the finishing part. And we're going to make sure that we've got everything even, consistent, and sealed. That's why he's going in and detailing it out side to side. This particular wall has no electrical on it because the homeowners don't want any plugs, but you'll see in some other pictures coming up that it has electrical. This framing was set out by the builder uh, two, two and a half inches away because you know, they were making allowances for it to be batted. Homeowners switched, once they bought the home, decided they wanted it spray foam. It's okay, we'll just get a thicker amount of foam behind the studs and then it will work. So here we're filling out the middle. We're making sure that we have an even and consistent amount. This is what a professional looks like. The foam should be smooth, consistent. It's going on liquid applied 25 times to liquid mass. It foams up and when it's dry to the touch, this is the end result. Here's the electrical I was talking about. They've got plugs for a bedroom. We detailed out the window nice. We did not get overspray all over it. We brought the foam thick out towards the edges. The framing is obviously out further than we need to, to spec the foam. That's why it didn't go all the way. Just take a look at this mechanical room. This is the difficult area in the whole job. Getting behind the plenums, getting behind the furnace itself, getting tight to the electrical panel but not overspraying everything, getting foam behind the water heater, not all over the water heater. Here my guy's wiping everything down just to make sure that everything is clean and crisp. Static electricity holds the foam shavings. You notice that we clean our work up. The foam is not into the wires. Go check that video out on how to spot a bad job where they bought the spray foam right up to the box. There's nothing you can do with that. This, they got a lot of room to add for takeaway wires. The stud faces are clean. We pull the packaging tape off. We bag and clean up our own messes. They're now ready to put up drywall. There's absolutely no poly with spray foam. That's the advantage. Do not think that this basement is going to perform the same as a fiberglass basement. They are going to be looking at saving upwards of 500 bucks a year. If they go and batted this basement, they'd have water issues, they'd have higher thermal costs, and it wouldn't be as comfortable as spray foam. So give us a call. Talk to us about doing your job because we can save you a lot of money, save you a lot of hassle, and give you a warm space. Thank you.